Hi guys, Will here from WB Trading and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, please do hit that subscribe notification and tap the bell icon so that you don't miss any of the free content I share with the trading community here on YouTube. So if you've been a part of this channel for a while, you'll know that I'm constantly trying to think of ways to help new traders become more successful, learn more, grow, and all in all, make more money. So today we're going to walk through problems, hurdles, and issues that hold a huge amount of new traders back. And we're going to analyze these, look closer at these, and hopefully by the end of this video, if you are a newer trader and you're either dealing with these problems now, or perhaps you're just starting out and you haven't made any of these yet, lucky for you, hopefully we can help you avoid them altogether. So let's get started. Problem number one, putting too much of a focus on active P&L throughout the trading day and paying too much attention to your day-to-day -day account balance fluctuations. Guys, this is going to drive you absolutely crazy. It's going to have you jumping in and out of positions. It's going to have you closing trades early before the trade has a chance to properly resolve and reach your profit target and on and on and on. Listen, I've been there myself. I've put on a trade, perhaps say a swing position one day, let it run, logged into my account later, seen my PL up, perhaps more than I was expecting, grabbed up the profit, and lo and behold, what's happened? You've snatched at perhaps 2R, 3R, and yet the trade's then gone on to run to 6R, 7R, and you've just damaged your profitability, damaged your edge, you've reduced the amount of money you could have made on the week, on the month, and more than anything, you've let yourself down by breaking your rules. And at the end of the day, you know you've traded badly and this subconsciously reinforces making the same mistakes again and again and you're going to continue running around in circles which is i'm sure not what you want so how to solve the problem it's really simple guys just disable your active profit and loss don't pay attention to this don't let it distract you focus on trading the market focus on trading your strategy or strategies well and allowing your edge to play out problem number two thinking in terms of money and not in terms of both again trading well and the reward you're achieving based on the risk you've taken on each trade i.e the r you're achieving again this is somewhat related to trading your profit and loss but i've mentioned this because i see it time and again both online and inside the trade records of new traders who approach me in regards to having me mentor them and instead of executing well placing a stop placing a target and putting a focus on their performance, their strategy, their edge. They're just aiming to make X per day. You know, they're coming into the market thinking, if I could just make £100 a day, £200 a day, but this is next to impossible because it's, it's nonsensical. There's not a trader on earth who can just make 100 a day, 200 a day, 500 a day, every day of the week. Now, sure, with a strategy that works, you can certainly have more positive days, more up days than losing days, and you can make money more often than not. That's completely possible. But then it comes down to, well, what size account are you trading? How much are you risking? How many trades do you take each day? And so on. To put this into perspective, if you have a, let's say, £400 account, and you're trying to make £100 a day, it's pretty unlikely you're going to turn over a 25% account gain every day, Monday to Friday. Whereas if you're trading a £100,000 account, you're going to most likely surpass £100 a day, purely down to price being likely just to tick in your favour when you place a trade. But you're not going to be closing this because you're, you're most likely going to be aiming for into the hundreds of pounds when your targets hit and so on. So how to solve the problem now? I know how backwards this will sound, but honestly, I can almost guarantee this because I've done it myself and I've helped a huge amount of traders do the same. Now, if you take a proven strategy, trade it well over at the very least a few months, you'll almost certainly be profitable. I know it's easier said than done, but if you can just do three, six months of solid trading, following a proven plan, following a proven strategy that provides edge, again, you'll almost certainly grow your account and achieve profitability. Now, I love a good analogy, so let me share one with you. If you're trading badly, it's like closing the curtains and expecting the sun to shine through. It's, it's impossible. The curtains are blocking the light, aren't they? 
If you're trading well, on the other hand, following a plan, a proven strategy, letting your edge play out, you've opened the curtains. And yes, it might not be sunny at the time, but the sun is going to come around, and when it does, it's going to shine through the window. As Mike Bellafury says, just take one good trade, and then one good trade, and then one good trade. It's, it's all that's required. You know, Focus on process, not profit, and, and strangely, and again, I found this to be true firsthand, profit then seems to follow. So try it out. Just see if you can manage one solid quarter of process, process, process. And as long as you're trading a strategy that provides edge, you might just be surprised by the results. And, and I hope you are. So if you're doing any of the above or making any of these mistakes, i.e. jumping in and out of trades due to nothing but emotion, i.e. acting on feel rather than process and clear rules, or if you're missizing positions, meaning you lose too much money when you're wrong, you don't make enough when you're right, or you don't have a clear defined strategy, meaning you, you guess or you predict rather than just trading a proven edge, or you've no genuine idea why you're trading the market or markets you're trading, i.e. do the work for you, your strategy, how you view the market, your style, or if you're trading whilst watching your profit and loss ticking up and down, aiming for, let's say, a dollar amount per day rather than focusing on trading well, then see if you can do this instead. Follow a proven process through the ups and the downs. Remember, consistent actions lead to consistent results. And see if you can focus on execution and managing risk, capping risk at the same percentage of risk on every trade. Again, consistent actions lead to consistent results. On top of this, make sure that you're only losing small when wrong and that you're winning big when right. Again, this gives you an edge over the markets, much like we discussed previously in the 30 minute edge webinar I shared with you here on the channel last week. And know exactly why you're trading the market or markets that you're trading. You know, if you're trading a short term mean reversion strategy, make sure you're trading this on markets that tend to mean revert in the short term, i.e. currencies, indexes, and so on. And again, hide your PL, focus on trading your strategy or strategies with consistency. I've said this before, let me say it again, putting process before results tends to lead to results. So I hope that what we've discussed helps if you do put these things into practice and you're anything like me or the trades I've worked with in the past, these things can have a huge, huge impact. So please do rewatch this video and make notes if you haven't already, because again, take action on these steps. And if you aren't already trading profitably, this might just be enough to finally get you there. That's my hope for all of you anyway. That's why I've put this video together for you all to help finally get you there and to help you achieve profitability. And uh, I hope this helps. If you have any thoughts or questions on any of the above, please do feel free to visit the comments section below the video. I'll happily get these answered for you. Please do subscribe if you haven't. And as always, guys, trade with edge, with consistency, and I look forward to having you back here on the channel soon. Thanks, guys.